Coast, Nancy Guppy has been busy compiling a fresh list of fun things to see and do around Western Washington, including this year's Northwest Folklife Festival, yes. which I really like. Yes, I think that's yes. super fun. That is Hello really there. Fun. Hello. Welcome, my dear. It's great to see you. Um, so lots of things. So I'm going to start out with a really extraordinary photography exhibit by Deb Achok. It's called Culture and Sea. I think I'm going to like this. You're Let's see. So when I, that was the postcard I got. Sea. Let's see the sea. That is the image that I got on the little oh. postcard for the show. Can when we I just go that? there, exactly. wherever that is? So this is the feeling I have. I feel like that puts you in the photo itself. It looked familiar, yeah. like a scenario. I could I could um, feel the warm air, mm. I could, the grittiness of the salt, the, the, the sun on my face. I mean, it's a tangible feeling. So uh, Deb also, in her water pictures, ocean pictures, she d takes her camera into the water, so it's clearly an immersive experience for real. And again, there's this feeling of you can feel that or you can hear the ocean you can feel the temperature of that water on your on your skin there's something about the way she shoots it is um, it's very special I think that's kind of the artistic eye that she has you know she really captures uh, it's like a nostalgic immersive feeling to me and when you get to see under the water it's oh, always kind it's of just, special it's just beautiful I love those legs and that yeah. you know like oh, kicking I wish along those were my little legs going <laughs> along or my so, not so little legs yeah beautiful legs thank you so much we you won't too. talk too much about that right now but you do <laughs> um, so culture and sea it runs through June 20 and they're really big photos, so you want to go there. It's Winston Walker Gallery okay. on, on Dexter. Sounds good. All right, so another great visual artist, Amelia Coto. She is a painter, and she grew up in um, Brazil. She started out as a, a performing artist, did a lot of theater, had quite a career, and then she turned her attention to the visual arts in like 2005. So um, she's known really nationally and internationally, as also locally here. And in her um, new show, she's painting really big. Uh, she's really diving deep into color. She's looking a lot at about the relationship between uh, uh, shapes and color and um, this new show is at um, a building 30 so she is in a uh, it's in Magnuson Park a bunch of studios there artists have studios in fact Mike Spafford I talked to him, like last yeah. month he's there as well and they have uh, twice a year they have um, uh, these open studios and so the first the next one's coming up Saturday June 2nd from 1 until 5 and you can see I think uh, that's Amelia, so far away I, I, and it's well not. I know I was thinking the same thing it was like no we're like two weeks two away, weeks from, away that, from right that. and she's in uh, let's see studio 106 so that is a fun thing to do when you see a bunch of great art um, another big painting and I maybe you've seen this one um, it's an amazing huge piece by Jean-Michel Basquiat yeah, at, I'm a um, huge fan of me too it just what he a life, is amazing what a story. I know and so it's at Seattle um, um, art Museum. The piece is called Untitled and he painted it in 1982. He was a 21 year old young man. So as you well know um, he started out in the um, in New York in the 70s. He was kind of a graffiti artist shot to uh, art world fame. Obviously knew was good friends with Andy Warhol um, and by the early 80s his paintings were in galleries or being collected in museums. Very sadly he uh, died of a drug overdose at age 27 uh, in 1988. Very sad. Um, but his paintings continue to be collected in a real Really big way. Yeah, right? look up his art, and there's yeah. also a biographical film that Jeffrey Wright stars in. It's, it's really, really extraordinary. It's very good. It, yeah. It's worth looking at. It really, it really is. Um, yeah. So, and yeah, look up that. Look at the uh, the doc or the kind of the biopic, yeah. and go see this this piece. It's, it's there at it's um, amazing it's Sam work. through uh, August 13th. Yeah. Um, okay, there's a very charming exhibit. It's called yes. Tiny Book, and it features <laughs> over little one, tiny books. Little tiny books, uh, over a hundred handmade books that, in some way, reflect the theme of tiny. So there are some books like that that are extremely tiny. There's also a book of illustrations that starts out very tiny illustrations, and the drawings get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a book with a, that starts out with a word association. Starts out with the word tiny, then it gets to a much bigger uh, word some down where down the line. Mm -hmm. There's also a really huge book that I don't know how big it is, but it makes you as a human feel quite tiny in comparison. I like those things, like uh, the giant chairs. Uh, exactly, that kind of there's the, the scale is yeah, so fun the to scale kind of, is you fun know, to play the contrast. With. Um, so the books are very beautifully made. Um, they also utilize every uh, imaginable way of book binding, which I don't know a whole lot about. Um, so this display is quite something, a tiny book. It runs now through June at Editions, which is a, mm -hmm. a co-working place for printmakers and book, book binders, obviously, down in Georgetown. And the address, of course, is on yeah. the New cool Day website. Cool things going on in Georgetown. They're always really great stuff in Georgetown. That's really the burgeoning place, yep. I think, in a lot of ways. All right, folk life, shall we talk about it? Let's do oh, it. Okay, it's coming up quick. Every Memorial Day weekend, the Northwest Folk Life Festival hits. The 47th installment is coming up quick. Um, and the or organizers, uh, they describe this as for the people, by the people. That is folk life, and that is truly the deal. Anyone and everyone is welcome. Uh, this year's uh, festival presents uh, more than 5,000 performers wow. pulled from 100 different cultural communities around in the Northwest region. Lots of highlights, and I think they're kind of going uh, heavy on this. 
um, a huge showcase of Mexican, I think it's folklorico dance. Yes, folklorico. Folklorico. Which and is beautiful and colorful and just amazeballs. Yeah, yeah. amazeballs. <laughs> yes, they, should, they should use that as it a tagline. Yes, folklorico, colon, amazeballs. And then do you know about banda bands? They have two of Washington's I do not. best banda bands, who is also um, in the um, Mexican cultural um, artistic you know, music and dance, oh, cool. and a James Beard award-winning tamale chef, which sounds really delicious oh, to me. Heaven. To heaven. So folk life is free, as we know, but they uh, do thrive on donations. They yes. suggest 10 bucks a person, 20 for a whole family, which is a yeah, super that's a great bargain. deal. And so it's coming down the pike 25, May 25 through 28, all over the Seattle Center grounds. Okay. So everything's happening really everything quickly. Everything happening very, very fast. Thank we, you, you very much. You your good legs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 on the Seattle channel with Nancy or you can stream previous episodes online and you can find the links for that on our homepage. We'll be right back. Yay!